What's happening guys? My name is Daisy and today we're playing a new Let's Play. We're playing Portal. That intro was really bad. Let me redo that again. What's happening guys? My name is Daisy and today we're playing Portal. Now this is quite an old game. A lot of people have played it and I kind of want to get on that hype of people playing it and it looks really cool. So let's get straight in and play a new game. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention you messed up my dancing. has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from the portal will open in three, two, one. Cool. Is that me? What's on my legs? Huh, who knows? That's weird. I can tell I'm gonna get really confused with this. Okay. So also, you're going to have to bear my camera angling skills, like, with moving my face, because I've got to do it in my mouse pad, and I haven't... It's the mouse pad on my laptop, and it's not the best. So let's go in here, I guess. Right, what do I do? Okay, so... E to pick up an object. And drop. Excellent. Cool. Please proceed so. into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material events a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Your voice is really irritating. Where it is. Alright, let's go. Can you drop? Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Ah. Oh. Well, that is a name and a half. And now I'm dropped. No, here we go. So it's in there. Uh. Um, no. Ah! Damn it! I missed, messed up timings. So I've just gotta wait until I get into the one with the thingy. Come out of there. Let's just wait until we see a key. Bingo! Let's pick up that key. Oh, really? As soon as I try to get through, you close. Really? Oh. Now we gotta wait again. Go, go, go through! Thank you. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Here we go. I can tell I'm going to get very confused with this, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. Because you guys have probably seen all the famous YouTubers play this game, and I'm going to be like, What am I doing? I don't know. I stopped myself from watching other YouTubers watch it, because I kind of want it to be a surprise for me. I don't know what it involves. And some people are probably thinking, Oh my God. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Well, good thing I don't taste blood now, isn't it? But thank you, an irritating voice, for that enlightenment. Here we go from here. So, do I come down here? And then do I go? Very good. 
You are now what in did possession I just of the Aperture Science and Health Portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you <laughs> Really in the voice. You're gonna keep cutting out like that. It's very irritating. But this is cool. We can make portals. Kind of hence why it's called portal, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm a douchebag. Oh. Mind the gap. Okay, so I guess we go down here. Straight into here. Oh! That's weird. That's weird. So, do we, do we kind of go down here again? Oh, okay. <laughs> that, oh, this is weird. Hang on. Do I have to put one there? Maybe put one down there. No. Where's Oh I see now. So you put the one there and wait. Hi me! Hey girl, how you doing? You're looking fine today. Yeah, I need to stop talking about myself like that. Okay. Remember, the amateur science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Okay. It's the only thing is, I'm not old enough to have kids yet. I'm still quite young. I don't. I don't want a kid now. Are you being serious? Are you serious, bro? <laughs> What's with this camera? Can I? I don't, I'm not liking the cameras. Welcome to test chamber four. Do they like follow me? Well. Okay, so what? Okay, we can't go through that yet because I haven't made a portal. You know, that makes so much sense now. So, that just went down here. So, let's make a portal here. Preferably not go for it just yet without the cube. Jack the cube through there. Okay. Oh, that makes my head go funny. That really makes my head feel really funny. And we're standing on top of the cube. Helpful. It's weird to get your head around that. Because next moment you're just... Like, one moment you're going down to a hole. Next moment you're standing sideways. Excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Okay, good. That mean, does that mean I don't have to listen to your irritating voice? Because you sound like a robot. And you sound like a robot because you are a robot, probably. But your voice is very irritating. That was my best robot impression. How do you guys like my robot impression? I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good, not gonna lie. Okay. I didn't even do anything. Oops. My bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to click that. Um, so where's the block? Alright, there's one down here. Let's make a portal there. See what I mean? Just look down into that portal. That looks weird. It kind of messes with your head a bit, doesn't it? Uh, let's grab you. Put you in there. And I'll come in here with you. Oh, that's weird. Okay, um... We're going to put you on there. Simples. Where is the other one? The other one's up there. Let's see. Does anything happen if I come up here? I'm confused. <gasps> Wait. I'm not confused anymore. I got it. Awesome. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of Thanks. a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. Okay, I didn't understand a word of that, but okay. Thanks anyway.
Up in the elevators. This game sure does. Uh, that's bright. That's bright. Okay. Safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet, seen to the left of the chamber, can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. What the heck do I do? Right, what does this thing say here? So, am I gonna get that floaty thingy? What did I just do? Did I die? Oops. Please be careful. There we go. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Am I meant to be listening to her? Because I've kind of tuned out from what she's listening to. For what she's saying. Well, I'm guessing that's obviously got to go through there and then up to there, because then that makes a lot of sense. Good. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Uh, how do I get up there? Then? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, that was creepy. If I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty fun too. I might just be an absolute douche and not thinking right. I've just figured out what I'm gonna do. You gotta put that portal there, and you gotta really quickly jump through here and land on there. I am so smart. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. Followed by death. Good luck. Oh. Thanks. It's nice to know that. Cheers, me. Alt to crouch. Why do I gotta oh Okay. Damn it, I'm getting done. No, they're making portals everywhere! I'm an idiot. That's what I am. I am an idiot. I just go just. I just go straight through. What am I doing? You guys are gonna think I'm an absolute dumbass now, aren't you? Thinking she doesn't know what she's doing. This is the easiest level. Blah, blah, blah. I genuinely do not have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, now back to the beginning again. I'm so confused. I put that there. Boom! Finally, that was like right. Woo! Woo! Okay, so now we can make a thing here. Go through there. Make a portal there. But don't go through there until that thing comes back, because we're gonna die. Okay, I'm on. I'm half on this side, half on the other side now. No! Oh, damn it! Just don't fall this time. Don't fall. I wouldn't want to fall into that anyway. That water looks dirty. That does not look hygienic. Very impressive. Please Thank you. note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. What? The enrichment center no. regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Nothing is impossible. Okay? Everyone should know that nothing's impossible. Because it's true. Nothing is impossible. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. What am I doing? Am I even clicking anything? The enrichment anyway, center as apologizes I said. for this clearly broken test chamber. As I keep saying, but getting rudely interrupted. 
What? Frankly, this chamber was a mistake. If we were you, we would quit now. I'm not quitting. Oh, I see now. You gotta go in here and you gotta make a portal in there. And then you gotta... Uh... Get that up there somewhere? No one will blame you for giving up. I'm not giving up! Quitting at this point is a Just perfectly a reasonable response. Quit now and pay will be served immediately. Now go I do let me some cake, but still not quitting. And I've just realized I'm being a bit of a juice bag and I can actually go through here. Ah really Anyway, as I keep keep saying before I was really insulted. Nothing's impossible. Even if you think, like, flying, yes, it's impossible now, but not in the future. You never know. You Fantastic. could do great to think of you flying. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. My hand's gone dead. Oh, ah. This is the only thing I don't like playing video games on laptop. My hand goes really dead, like, all here, and here, and here. It gets all numb. It's really painful. Your pins and needles. Hello again. Hi. Reiterate. Previous one. Last. Pardon? Momentum. Pardon? Could you speak English, please? That'd be great. Right. So what's this? Go through. Jump down and go through. Right, so jump down here. Oh! You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. That's so cool! Can I do that again? I want to do that again. We're going again. Oh, do you see that twist? That twist was so cool. I might just have to do that in slow motion replay for you. You doing it again? Oh, I like this! This is so cool! Where did I make one? Um, oh, it makes sense now. You make one up there. If I can fall through here and then fly over there. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. <laughs> that's a good way to. <laughs> that's a good way to think about things. Speedy thing goes in. Speedy thing comes out. <laughs> okay, so we run up to section ten or level ten, whatever it is. I'm gonna leave this episode here. I like this game. It's fun. It's play. Tricks your mind a bit, doesn't it? I have a feeling there's gonna be some levels. I'm probably gonna get really confused. So bear with me on that. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. We get when it's so hot in here. Go have the fan on, your hair in your mouth. Huh.